I'm a really big fan of horror, everything horror related. I love horror films, like really, really cheesy horror films. I love really unsettling psychological horrors. And I absolutely love horror games, which is why the Resident Evil series is one of my favourite game series of all time. I also love the Resident Evil films, but that's a controversial topic for another time. So I'm gonna rank all of the Resident Evil games. Some of them at the bottom of the list especially, I don't really remember much about because I haven't played them in years, but I remember my initial response to them, even if I don't exactly remember why. I think that kind of says enough about them though, if the game is that level of just completely not memorable probably not the best game. And that's why in last place we have a Resident Evil game that I kind of just forgot existed. Umbrella Corp. This is the only game I'm going to talk about on this list that I haven't actually ever played. I've seen gameplay, I've heard the reviews. It's pretty difficult to make me completely uninterested in something related to Resident Evil because I love it that much, but this game did just that. It released as just a completely broken mess according to every review I've ever seen of the game. And the overall concept just didn't seem that exciting to me, but I think I'm in the minority there. I think most people thought that it was a really cool concept and were excited for it originally. But then, ultimately, everyone was really let down by it just being so buggy and broken when it came out. Apparently the single player just wasn't ever worth trying, but the multiplayer obviously isn't worth trying now because it's completely dead and nobody's playing it. So overall, I think I'll just give that one a miss. Next up on the list is Resident Evil Operation Raccoon City. I do think with this game, like I, maybe I just don't like it because it didn't feel like a Resident Evil game. It doesn't feel like it belongs in the series, but I absolutely love Resident Evil 7, which a lot of people say doesn't really belong in the series. So that game got a lot of slack for being different and not being a Resident Evil game, but I absolutely love that one. This one just didn't really feel like it meshed with the series and with the universe at all, whereas Resi 7 feels like it fits within the universe and it feels like that brought the series back to being a horror game. And I haven't played this game since it came out and it was so buggy and broken and maybe again that just ruined the experience for people. I remember that the AI was really bad and just stupid so the multiplayer was ruined by that too. Then we have Resident Evil Zero, a game that I originally completely missed. So I played it on PC. I think it might have only recently come out on PC. And by recently, I mean like a few years ago because time is moving so fast. <laughs> I will say one of the main reasons this is so far down on my list is that there was no damn box to store my items in. There was one in all of the other games, well, almost all of the other games. And this one, I just had so many issues just like, leaving an item somewhere to pick it up later and then forgetting where I put it and having to search around for items then trying to pick items up when they're slightly layered on top of each other or too close and you can't pick up the correct damn thing <laughs> it's just me who got really frustrated and struggled with that okay next is Resident Evil Revelation I don't really have that many feelings about this game so I didn't really know where to put it on my list I didn't play this game until it came out on PC either so it might have felt a bit better to play it on I think it was the 3DS that everyone played it on. I feel like this and Revelations 2 are ones that I definitely need to go back and replay at some point, so if that's something you'd want to see on the channel, me doing a full playthrough of those two games, then let me know in the comments and I might give that a go. Then there's the ever-hated Resident Evil 6. People are probably shocked that this even ended up this high on the list, but I really don't hate this game as much as other people do. I think it's a bit meh compared to some of the others, which is why this is where it's placed on the list. But I don't hate it. So in Resident Evil 6, if you haven't played it, there were four different campaigns, all with like different play styles. You had Jake and Sherry in like an adventure story that's been compared to like the likes of Uncharted. Leon and Helena in action-based gameplay. Chris and Piers in a shooter. And Ada Wong in kind of like a survival puzzle-based game. So it was an interesting play from Capcom, trying to kind of please everybody at once with all the different play styles that would kind of suit anyone wanting to play so they would at least enjoy one of the campaigns but it just didn't really fit together very well especially I think it was Ada's campaign that just felt really out of place and like none of the puzzle actually fit into the bigger story of the game. I think one of my friends put it best when he said that the reason he doesn't like Resident Evil 6 is because it felt like Capcom were making a game that wasn't at all made for fans of Resident Evil. It was made for a wider audience to try and attract way more people to it. So because it was made solely for new Resident Evil fans, there was nothing there for the original fans and it kind of lost all of the horror elements of Resident Evil. Next up is the Resident Evil 3 Remake. 
I'm gonna be completely honest here and say that I think I need to replay this game in a few months when I've kind of settled down with what my expectations for the game were because after the remake of 2 and Resident Evil 7 being so good, I think I set my expectations far too high for this remake so I was really disappointed with it but I think that is just I went in with the completely wrong expectations and if I kind of took a step back and replayed it I think I would enjoy it a lot more. It's not a bad game, don't get me wrong, it's just where my expectations were for the game and where the game was were completely different. So when I'm not quite as hyped for it, I might go back and replay it. So if again, if that's something you want to see on the channel, let me know. Resident Evil 5, I think it's a decent game. It's not as bad as 6, it's definitely not as good as 4. Obviously with it being a follow-up to 4, I don't think it was ever going to be perceived as incredible because 4 was so good but it felt like it just strayed so far from the series as a whole and it didn't really feel like a proper Resident Evil game. And I know that 4 definitely leaned into the survival thing, but 4 still had a lot of horror elements to it. But 5 kind of felt like it just really branched out from being a Resident Evil game and was just a survival game, not really a horror game. And it wasn't a bad survival game, it just didn't feel like Resident Evil. The co-op options definitely make 5 an interesting game for sure, it's just not one of my favourites. Next on the list is Resident Evil Revelations 2. Now as much as I've said I don't remember a lot about Revelations 1 and 2 and I do want to replay them, I do remember enjoying this game so I was kind of unsure where to place it on the list but I feel like since I remember enjoying it more than 5, this is probably a good spot for it. Next is Resident Evil Code Veronica. This game has a great story and I really enjoyed it. The control scheme is a little bit naff, but I mean, it's Resident Evil, what do you expect? It's not very horror filled, which I know is contradicting to what I've just said about other games, but I feel like because this is kind of a more difficult survival game, it builds tension in a similar way to how a horror game would, because you start with like just a knife, I think, so having that kind of tension kind of leans on the same thing with a horror game. And one of the things I absolutely adore about this game is the sound design. It's so damn good. And that definitely helps build the tension. I've seen a lot of like negative reviews or just opinions recently of Resident Evil 3 Nemesis, the original game. And I was so confused by that because I loved the original. It definitely doesn't feel like a polished game, but I loved Nemesis and I think that the multiple choice options were a really great addition to the game. Choice based games do make up one of my favourite genres of games, like multiple choice things. I absolutely love that when you can kind of have your own little impact on the story overall. So maybe that impacts my decision of why I like this game. And I have done a whole video on my favourite choice based games, so if you want some recommendations I'll link that in the description. But yeah, I think Resident Evil 3 is a great blend of horror, puzzles and kind of action survival. The original Resident Evil game is one of my favourite games of all time. It's so nostalgic, even though it wasn't the first game I ever played, but it still just feels like the most nostalgic one to me and I really love it. I really like all of the puzzle solving in the earlier games, I think that's something I missed about the series for a while that they're kind of starting to bring back more because there are definitely elements of that in Resident Evil 7. I'm going to kind of cheat and put the remaster of the original in this too because I'm not really sure which one I rank above the other. After Resident Evil 6, I think Capcom made an amazing decision in going back to the horror roots of Resident Evil and putting out Resident Evil 7 Biohazard. When we were first seeing gameplay for Biohazard, I was trying so hard not to get my hopes up massively, but I still kind of did anyway, and I still wasn't disappointed. It's an amazing game. It doesn't feel like other Resident Evil games, but this time in a good way. It's kind of a whole new take on that world and that universe, and it's a really great horror game. Now we're left with Resident Evil 2 and the Resident Evil 2 remake, and I'm probably going to get a lot of shit for this, but I think I prefer the remake. I love the original obviously, which is why it's placing third on the list, but I just really really loved the remake. Maybe it was because I was so excited for it and it just completely exceeded my expectations even though my expectations were really high. Maybe that had an impact because I didn't really know what I was getting into when I played the original game. And maybe it's like the modern take and the graphical improvements that just make me love this version of the game so much more because it doesn't feel as clunky as playing the original again. Either way, I'm putting the original Resident Evil 2 in third place and the remake of 2 in second place. Which means that top of the list, unsurprisingly, is Resident Evil 4. Resi 4 was one of the first games in the series that I ever played and just like everybody else, I absolutely love this game. I don't think I've ever seen a list ranking Resident Evil games that doesn't have Resident Evil 4 at the top. 
So actually, if Resident Evil 4 isn't your favourite game, let me know in the comments and let me know which one is your favourite. I'd be interested to know. Because I think all of my friends like Resident Evil 4 the most. I haven't really seen anyone say anything different. I think Resident Evil 4 was the perfect blend of horror and survival, which is something that a few of the later games were lacking in. And yeah, it's just a really good game. And I think 2 and 4 are quite close to the top of my list, but I think 4 just about outweighs it. So if you want to see any Resident Evil gameplay on the channel or over on my Twitch when I start streaming, then let me know if that's something you'd be interested in watching. And I will happily replay every single game in the series if that's something people would want to see. If you enjoyed the video, please like, subscribe and hit the notification bell and I'll see you in the next one.